It was uh, six thirty nine, and it's cost me seventy five forty five. That's a lot of money. That's almost a hundred bucks for a little van like this. Yeah, it's ridiculous. But we're stuck with the prices. This is crazy. And meanwhile, the stock market is, is actually tanking, which is really scary. The S&P dipped into bear market territory. Now the Dow suffered its longest losing streak since 1932. That's the Great Depression. That brings us to story number eight, Biden's economic crisis, folks. For more on this, we're joined by Grover Norquist, president and founder of Americans for Tax Reform. Uh, Grover, appreciate you joining us tonight. Absolutely. And the, the Biden economic crisis, I saw you have it as plural. Uh, you're right. It's the inflation that he created by right. spending $2 trillion we don't have, the higher gasoline prices and energy prices on purpose to drive people away from uh, fossil fuels and natural gas and oil, shutting down the, the pipelines, uh, the, the supply chain, chain, supply chain challenges, uh, you can't find workers because they put so much welfare money out there that a lot of people right. are still living off that and they're not coming to work. Uh, all of these things bid up costs and prices for everybody else, make for less employment than we would normally have. It's not one problem. He's, right. he's really done what Jimmy Carter did. He's got well, everything wrong. Wait, Jobs, you know, inflation, taxes. What's, what's interesting about this is during the first six to eight months of uh, Biden's presidency, they said like, oh, well, you know, look at us now. The stock market is reaching new highs. It's like, well, yeah, it reaches new highs if it goes up a dollar or a, a percentage point or a basis point or whatever you want to measure with, with. The problem was is right now they're in danger of actually wiping out all the gains they've had during his presidency. So like their one talking point was like, all right, look at this, the stock market's doing great. They say, well, it didn't matter when Trump did it, but now they do it. And, but so this is people's 401ks. And there's a lot of people out there who's like, nah, I don't really do the stock market. This doesn't really affect me. If you have a 401k, if you have a pension, if you have a retirement, talk to us about how that's affected. But always pensions have been backed up by shares of stock and bonds. But people didn't see it because they were called defined benefit pensions. You, you're going to get 50% of your pay or 40% of your pay. That's what you get. It's not linked to the stock market, although technically it was. But now most pensions that people have are actual 401ks, IRAs, various things where you have real stocks, you own them. Stocks go up. Your retirement goes up. Stocks go down. Your retirement goes down. It is, there's not some guaranteed number. It's a function of how well the stock market is doing, how well the American economy is doing. And so this war on companies and their ability to make money and to succeed, that you know, the attacks, the, the 35 tax increases that Biden wants to put on American companies, uh, yeah. 11 of them, energy to raise the cost of energy, all of those things make your retirement smaller. Right. You know, the American Rescue Plan, this was Biden's shining horse. He was like, this is going to come in. It's going to be great. Everything's going to be hikey dory uh, But now we have you know, record inflation. Was it 8 9%? I mean, how do they r rationalize this? Well, they, they throw all that money up in the air, and they said this will help the economy. Well, if you look at all the projections of the economy coming back and jobs coming back because COVID was going away, vaccines were now out, we did still have the Trump tax cuts. Remember, we have the basis of a very strong economy, that's what Biden is messing up, which is the strong economy. If he'd just done nothing, we'd have been going gangbusters. Everything he did made jobs worse, your pay less, your, your, your dollar yeah. worth less. Uh, the regulations they're throwing on have made energy more expensive. So he started with a clean pallet, which was, right. with, with, that was put together by Trump. It was actually growing the economy. It was COVID receding. Things were going well. And then he dropped all of those bad ideas yep. on top of the economy, and it's failing. Right. So, sir, before I let you go, I have 10 seconds left. Recession is defined by two negative quarters of growth. We've had one. Do you project this one's going to be the second, and we're going to go into recession? I don't know if this one will. It's possible. But the next two, I mean, we could go into a recession any time in the next two years because of these anti-growth, anti-job policies that Biden's doubling down on, just like Jimmy Carter. Unbelievable. It's an, all, like you said, all he had to do was nothing. Grover Norquist, president and founder of uh, Americans for Tax Reform. Appreciate you joining us, sir.
Thank you. All right, cool. Folks, it, it, it's like all they had to do was nothing. All they had to do was nothing. So.